Hey team, I am somewhere in East Papamoa. <laughs> I'm in reverse, eh? Yep, um, I've just popped to an ATM to get out 50 bucks. Because <laughs> um, I'm gonna go and pick up Pokemon Scarlet off a lady in the mount for my Nintendo. Which, in New Zealand dollars, is a good price. 50 NZD is about 30 USD, I believe. So about half the price I'd pay for it new. Um, but yeah, I'm very, very rarely out this way. Is it only a left turn? I hope not. I don't think so. It'll make no sense if it was. Okay, there we go. Here we go. But yeah, welcome to the commute. My camera's kind of in a semi-different position. I stuck it on my window to see what the camera angle was like. Long story short, I hated it because I had to keep turning my head like a full 90 degrees um, every time I wanted to talk to you. So I've moved it back. It might be in a slightly different angle, but live, laugh, love, it's close enough. Oh, you're shaky, aren't you? Just looking at the camera. I wonder if Horizon Lock will get rid of that. Have I not put you on smooth enough? You're pretty tight, buddy. Yeah, you should be. Hopefully it's okay. What's Jill said? So cool. One of the uh, teacher aides, I think, has made some resources or done something with the kids that they've sent through. I won't bother. I shouldn't be checking messages when I'm driving. But yeah, welcome to the commute where I spend 20 minutes of my day talking about what's happening in my life, talking about a topic, having a catch up. It's like a podcast, but in the car. Um, this is episode 10 or 11. I don't remember. Hello, Mr. Cyclist. Um, I'm actually not that far out. I'm near where the Sunrise crew do their thing. Sunrise crew is literally what it is. It's a bunch of people that head to the beach in the morning at sunrise and go for a swim. Oh, I'm turning. Oh my gosh. I don't know where I'm going. I'm so sorry. Good thing no one was coming around the roundabout. I promise I'm a better driver than that. I always put my blinker on at least five seconds before. I think legally it's three. Oh, is it just going to bring me back onto the highway? I think it is. Be interested to see where it takes me. A little bit disoriented. I don't know where I am. But I also don't. So yeah. If you've never been around before, my name's Michael. Welcome to this series. It's uh, my attempt to turn something dull into something exciting, something creative that I can enjoy and be productive for. Um, it gives me something to do during these drives home. We've got Eric Clapton, well, not Eric Clapton, Derek and the Dominoes on Spotify this afternoon. Yep. Um, I haven't actually listened to Derek and the Dominoes all that much. Always listen to Eric Clapton. Oh, it's just bringing me out here. Yeah. Okay. Crack a lacking. It's going to be a bit of a mesh home, I've got to say, because I'm going to the mount and then I'm going back into Tauranga. Goodness me, buddy. Oh, wow. That was almost a honk on the horn. You should not have done that. <laughs> What's going on today? My goodness. <laughs> People taking risky gaps, that's what's happening today. It's one thing taking a risky gap, but then it's another thing not getting up to speed. <laughs> I mean, yeah. But hey, I've had a good day. Um, had a catch up with my mentor teacher. My mentor teacher's the DP. So, Usually, he's quite busy, um, so it's really nice when we do get those catch-ups in. Um, had a coffee at lunch and 
just had a chat, had to cut it off. Um, we learned about the letter O today. Holy moly, this man doesn't like roundabouts. He's taking this roundabout at like 20 k's. The right hand lane is the fast lane, buddy. Go into the left if you're not gonna go up to speed. I might have to go into the left. Yeah, I might do that. <laughs> Goodness gracious me. I am intrigued to see who is in this van. Oh, they're driving dog food. Wow. it's a lot of dog food. Maybe that's why they're going slow, because they've got lots of stuff in the van. Um, but yeah, so we learned about the letter O today. O says O. Oh. O says what? O says O. Oh. Um, and we did some revision of the letter I. I says I. Eh. I says what? I says I. Eh. Um, what are we doing reading? Just some sound work, getting them comfortable with those sounds. And today I taught them that when letters hug each other, when letters hug each other, they can make words. So we took a uh, and p and made up. It, it. Um, and we worked on putting some letters together. Making words. If he's going for it, I'm going for it. Beautiful. I'm gonna say goodbye to you now, <laughs> Mr. Van. Um. Yep. So we did some sound work and reading. In mathematics, we're working on representations up to five, so we focused on the number two today, which was lovely. Um, the uh, lessons are quite short and sweet, but I'm quite enjoying them at the moment. Really, really cool stuff that the kids are putting out. Um, what else happened today? Oh my god, I had the best hockey sesh. How could I forget? We had an awesome, awesome, awesome hockey session. Um, I was stationed in the gym during learning through play. And I set up hockey, so we did 6v6 and then we did 2v2s. And oh my god, I've got some little prodigies in my class. Holy moly. It was so much fun, honestly. I had an absolute ball. Um, yeah, no, I I really, really loved hockey today. Um, doing like actual PE with them and teaching them those like proper skills was awesome. Um, because normally with the Littlees we do quite simple, basic ball games. But I thought, look, we'll get the hockey sticks out, see what they can do. And man, they were good. Honestly, it was wicked. I had such a ball. That was definitely the highlight of my day. Seeing one of my little boys in particular, wow. He could be a professional hockey player one day. If this is what he's doing at five years old, holy moly. I was so impressed. Um, yeah, that was a great way to start the day. And then I actually got into the staff room today for morning tea. I had a sit down and had a coffee, had a catch up with a few people, which was lovely. And then at lunch I had my mentor teacher meeting, which was nice. Another coffee, <laughs> needed quite a bit of coffee. And then in the afternoon we did writing. Um, so with our five year olds, we call it writing cafe. Um, because they don't actually have that understanding of language, we're not forcing them to write, it will come naturally. Um, so to spark that interest in writing, we get them to draw a story in their books, and then they dictate sentences to us, and then we write that sentence down for them. Um, and then once they're ready, we slowly start introducing them to writing. Um, and the goal 
is to spark a passion for writing and not a hatred or a dread for writing. Because if our littlies can't read, and let alone hold a pen at five years old, how can we expect them to write? As I said, it comes naturally, and when they're ready, that's amazing. But um, for the time being, we're just trying to create that interest, that passion, um, and ease them into it, because they're five, you know? I know that a lot of education systems are quite different around the world. Um, that's particularly how our school rolls, um, which I really love. Um, it's not putting that pressure and dread for kids to start writing yet. Um, as I said, lots of them give it a go, which is amazing. Um, and we really, really celebrate it when they do give it a go. Um, but we're not making them write. In the weekend, I went to the beach. They're five years old, <laughs> you know? Um, obviously, every school does it differently, um, but I really love our approach. Um, and I believe it's a really beautiful way into writing because we get that passion about storytelling first um, and that focus on creativity and their ideas. And as I said, telling stories. Um, and, you know, that's, that's the key part of writing. That's the big focus. It's about getting those ideas out and actually being able to verbalize full sentences that make sense. Um, yeah, it's been a good day. Can you tell I'm a bit tired now, though? Um, I'm also driving a different way home. I'm driving via the mount, which is very different for me. I always, I don't drive via the mount. Not a fan of it. Uh, do I need to be in the left-hand lane? I do. I'm going to try and merge over. Yeah. Not a fan of going home via the mount. But, I get a reward. I get to go and pick up a new game. Which, realistically, I, I was actually thinking about it. You know, I'd already messaged the idea, so like, yep, that would be awesome. But, do I need it? Probably not. Um, it is only $50. It's a great price, which is why I'm grabbing it. Um, because, obviously, I can sell it on once I'm finished with it. Nintendo Switch games hold great... Um, hold their value pretty well. Um, I could probably sell it for about 60 bucks. Um, which is what the lady originally had it listed at, but she said she'd do 50, which is nice. Um, you know, I thought about it, I'm watching Avatar at the moment, on the telly with Georgia. Um, I'm reading Shogun, which is a fantastic book. I'm up to chapter three, I'm really, really enjoying it. I've read about 70 pages. Um, I'm learning stuff on the guitar. As I said, I was practicing um, Heavy Horses by Jethro Tull. The little intro. Um, obviously, I've got a million projects in the garden to do and house projects. Still need to paint a couple rooms in the house. Um, just at a busy roundabout at the moment. You know, there's a million things I could be doing other than playing video games. So no, I don't need it. It is not a need, but at $50, you know, why not? I'm not gonna get it cheaper. And I will enjoy it, it's something I will enjoy. I love Pokemon. I know that the game is full of bugs and it's horrifically, as I said, a bit glitchy. Um, and yeah, it's certainly not a polished game, but I don't know. I've just got that. That dude just run a red light. That's cool. Goodness me. Um, you know, it's it's that that itch, that Pokemon itch, which. As I said, the kids have got me back into it through the trading card game. So I'm part of Pokemon Club. And, yeah, I love it. <laughs> so, 
there's a kid on his bike, I'm gonna let him go first. I'd rather not run you over, buddy. You go. <laughs> I do not want to run you over, that would not be great. Where are we going? 400 meters. Um, but yeah, I know it's not an amazing game. The graphics aren't great and it's buggy and glitchy, but I know I'll still enjoy it. Um, and even though I have a million other things to do, it'll be nice, you know, I'll play 30, 40 minutes every night or so and squeeze it into my nights. Um, should be good. But hey, thank you for watching this episode of The Commute. I feel like I've rambled quite a bit. Um, I do apologize. But, you know, some nights my brain's just a bit switched off after a busy day of teaching. So I'm gonna go grab that game now. I need to figure out where the lady's house is. Um, thank you for watching. I will see you when I see you. Maybe I'll keep the videos going on the way home because I've got to drive from the mount. So I could actually squeeze in another video. Um, anyways, I'll see you in a bit, hopefully with Pokemon Scarlet.